Hey, you there. Are you the bouncer I'm supposed to meet? Actually, don't answer that. We're keeping this hush hush, right? Hear you the bouncer? All right, we're getting interrupted here by Guy. Hey, excuse me? You. You don't have any idea what I'm talking about, do you? Damn it, why does this keep happening? You should have been here by now. Hey, slow down. Ah, uh, I even slipped him some cash in advance to make sure he'd show up. This is bad. I'm toast if I don't have someone watching my back. I'm sick of getting my ass whooped. Guess I should head back to the club and see what's up. Sounds like my guy's a no-show. If only they'd sent a monster like you. Hey, that gives me an idea. You wanna make a quick yen, buddy? A guy like you would make the perfect bouncer. Just ask the bartender at Debola about it. That place makes a killing with under-the-table bouncer services. Yeah, I'm familiar with that place. The weird concrete place that looks like a padded room. Hmm, it's not a half bad idea if it pays well. Maybe I'll check out Debola if I have some time. Well, let's follow through with that now. Well, sorry, dog guy. We'll get back to you in a, in a moment on my, way, on my way back out. A new calling is, is calling. <laughs> a new calling is fine. Is the club underground because they play loud music, music and uh, being underground dampens that or something? Is that the goal-ish? Hi, I can't even talk to you for some reason. That's slightly weird. What? Whoa. You guys changed your layout significantly. That had to be really expensive construction, right? That had to be super expensive to change the construction of this place while it's underground. It's like under a street. This staircase did not go directly into this dance room. It went into the bar. Which was here. Yeah. Okay, so never mind. They just added, uh... They added a wall here. And that's probably it, basically. And open this wall up. So now you go directly into the dance floor and not to the bar, which was here. But I don't think I can even go there anymore. That's messing with me. It's messing with me to see a familiar space change this much. Ah. It's like going back to a high school you haven't been to in like 20 years. And then like, oh, they built a bunch of weird shit everywhere and demolished that building and built those ones and things are, there's the quads different. What can I get you, sir? Actually, I heard you guys are looking for bouncers. And who's the moron spreading that? You can keep this on the down low, right? Yeah. All right, then. We run a legit club here. We've got this underground bouncer ring going that takes requests from people around town. Someone submits a request, I send them one of my boys. I'd say the most common request is we get we get is to take is taking down thugs. But things have been getting rough lately. The streets are more dangerous than ever. Some of them can't hack it. Long story so short, yeah. We could use a guy like you. I've even got a job for you right now if you want it. Just swing by when you got the time. I'll make it worth your while, man. So, you in? Sure. Great. You got a name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu. You mean like Kazuma Kiryu? Didn't think I'd be hiring a legend when I got out of bed this morning. Anyway, welcome aboard. End of quest. Is it just a sub-quest to interact, to give you access to a job type? Huh. What form does it take? Bouncer missions? There's so many mechanics in this game. Become the bouncer. Bouncer missions are special battle requests that take you to specific places to defeat enemies. The devil of bartender will be your contact man for these missions. So talk to him whenever you want to take one on. Mission progression. Unlock new missions by successfully completing missions. These missions will grow progressively more difficult, so keep up with your training and try to clear out every mission. You will also gain a special bonus for completing a mission for the first time, so make sure you do every last mission to get all the bonuses. Is this the equivalent of, like, the cage match thing that was in the last game? Or is this- or is that also in here, I wonder? Controls? The basic controls for bouncer missions are the same as regular battles in the street. Be careful, though, as you cannot use recovery items during a mission. 
However, you can still change around your armor and accessories. So prepare your inventory and get bouncing. Time limit. Some of them have time limits. Uh, get through these missions as quickly as you can. Keep an eye on the clock. Defeat conditions and quitting a mission. You will fail the mission and be returned to double if your health reaches zero or you're out of time. You can also quit. Grab weapons from crates. Every so often you'll find wooden crates that contain weapons. Be sure to break these to see what's inside. So this is just full on cartoonish nonsense. <laughs> weapons found in bouncer missions can, cannot be stored. So don't be afraid to use them until they shatter. Towering giants, normal. Client, Shichifuku, parking lot owner. Some giant men have blocked off the road heading toward the Shichifuku parking lot and are asking passerby to pay a price he told to get through. Stop them. All right, go beat up some dudes. I feel like if, there was, if I listed, if I tried to make a list of all the different weird, like, side things, Things that things where you do a little tutorial and learn about a mechanic and then figure out the thing. If I did a list of all of them, that'd be like a staggering list. These these games have a lot going on. Hi. Screw that guy in particular. I don't think there's any items in the cardboard boxes. I think they're just there to comically get thrown pe people thrown into them. All right, he's not doing so hot. And, oh, that's not nice. Don't do that. Don't do that. Woohoo! Yep. Hehe. <laughs> Where's that one knife? I saw a knife fall over here. No? Hey, buddy. That was a wasteful beatdown. That was not... He did not have hit points that were worth hitting him. Oh! Hee <laughs> hee! That's fun. Oh, I broke it? Alright. There we go. Oh. We're not done here. That's part one. Okay, I'm gonna grab the soccer ball. Y'all want to play wall ball? There we go. Destroy 50 objects during battle. All right. Now I got the soccer ball. Haha. -ha. That was ineffective. Oh, uh, it's these assholes again. These guys suck. These guys suck so much. They're not. They're never fun. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I have a sign again. There's a there's really a range limit on that. Hehe. <laughs> Stop existing, you're boring to fight. Whoops. <laughs> Little early. There we go. Alright, back to fun times. No, there's three of them over here. Uh, you guys suck. Uh, are there cool weapons around here? Where's the weapons I was supposed to have sometimes? That's dramatic, but not very helpful. Bad dodge, bad dodge. Haha! <laughs> Woohoo! We done? Oh, boss time. Oh, it's a Novo Rich dude. Oh, that was not very effective. There we go. Hi! Ooh! Barrel! Ow! Damn. Damn. How you feeling now, buddy? You feeling good? Okay. Broken bottle. In the face. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay, you can't move fast with that. Woohoo! I really want the sword. Oh well, you get you get that. Ooh, now all the pieces of glass are breaking off inside your body. What's this about? Oh, it's a bottle. <laughs> Where's the saber? Where'd the saber go? I want the saber. This isn't fair. I was I had time. I finally had time. Oh god, that didn't work out. <laughs> Found the saber. <laughs> this fight just stopped being fair. There we go. This combat is so satisfying. You know, you might be able to make a franchise out of this. <laughs> Granted, it didn't start. It definitely didn't start here. <clears throat> I haven't really seen... OG combat, but I'm sure PS2 combat wasn't the satisfying from the get-go. Don't think those guys will be coming back now. Here's your reward. Ten different gear types. Some of these, some of these sub-story experience rewards are so tiny. Tranquil Tenugui. Keep up the good work. Got a new request for you. Come back when you're in the mood. I will. I don't really want to marathon these right now. I've got a dog to save. It's really trippy not having loading screens. Like, I've been here for like... 50 hours before. This is a change. Save me, homeless man. Oh, carry us on. Looking good, man. It's been a while. How have you been? Not bad. Me and Pochitaro here are pretty good friends after last year. Pochitaro? Isn't that the name Haruko gave him? Doggo. He's so tiny. Heh, <laughs> you've gotten bigger. I think Pochitaro's gonna love those kids just as much as they love him, Kiryu-san. About time he got off the streets. Thanks for the smogusa. Dog? Oh, he's gone. He's vanished. Tiny, homeless smelling dog. Is the, uh, oh, has Ah, oh, I'm all emptied out because of all the fighting. Let's do it. Where does this go? Goes nowhere. Cool. There we go. Go to the ramen shop. I've already had everything here. Eh, finish their menu. And then I'll just go somewhere else. Thank you very much. Hey! Akaoshimaru completed. Have I done Wild Jackson? I've done some Wild Jackson. I don't know if I've finished Wild Jackson. Now I finished Wild Jackson. Still perfectly valid food for experience reasons. But I get bonuses for completing menus. But we're gonna do that. Jindako Haibo Sakuba. This is not the right- that's not the real one. There we go. Alright. I remember this- I went here all the time. In both last games, probably. Look at that exploding ass excessive thumbnail for those items. Bizarre. Takoyaki! Cucumber pot. Fresh cassie... an orange. Blo blood orange highball. Sour cream and fries. Spicy dread octopus. Teriyaki and egg. Oh, uh, I want to try that too. I want to try that one especially. Uh, cheese and spicy fresh roe. God damn, these are very small orders, apparently. So I can just stock them all up. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh my god. Hey, combo! 
The Jindako Hayabal. Just kind of fell into that one. I'm level 4 drunk now. I've done it. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back to level 4 drunk and with a dog. It's an eventful day. Am I on the right street? I am not. I'm over by one. And people are gonna want to fight me. That's fine. I gotta work off all this takoyaki. And then I can eat more takoyaki. And then I can fight more. And then this loop can continue forever indefinitely. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> How you guys feeling? Hey, no, no don't, go, don't you go using melee weapons against me. You find out the hard way, well, that's a bad idea. Hey, buddy. You really don't want to bring weapons into these fights. Because they tend to go into my hands. And then it's just a bigger problem for you that you brought. It was you that did that. What? There's a lot going on. This is Kiryu. Oh, Daigo. Kiryu-san, it's Daigo. Daigo, are you alright? Yeah, I am... Is this Kazuma Kiryu-san? Who the hell are you? You'll find out soon enough. Do you want Daigo Dojima to live? Meet me at 1am tomorrow night at the Amano building. The Amano building? What about Chairman Goda? Is he alive? You'll find out soon enough. Oh, and be sure to come alone. Uh. Fine. See you. Mm. Tomorrow, 1 a.m., the Amano building. The Tojo clan officers want to, will want to hear this. I better catch a cab. Ah, Jesus. It could be a brand new thing. It could just be a brand new enemy of some kind. Or it could absolutely be... Majima just come like showing up to taunt me. I don't know. Bring it till you drop. Two Kiwami two two Kiwami two Bob here. In case you have noticed, I'd consume too much alcohol when you get drunk. Booze drink drinker get. That's what drink drinking water or waiting makes it wear off. More enemies bother you around town when you're drunk. However, you'll feel your heat gauge quicker, so it may be a good idea to get drunk every now and then. So drinking's good for grinding. Is what I'm taking. Is what I'm learning there. Tips, Kiwami Bob's got them. So as you advance the story, you come across some special items called valuables. You can see this near your pause menu. Valuables are often important to the story, so you cannot sell them or... Why is that worth the tutorial? Okay, fine. <laughs> Kiwami Bob's kind of up in my shit and won't back off, bro. Employee of the month. The wrong one, though. Ooh, make the rich people show up? I do want this one, though. Boosted digestion means that I can level faster. Also means that I just used up the main stuff I have. Ooh, seizing. Okay, definitely seizing firearm. So that's a heat move that steals firearms from people. Anything that disarms the enemy while also doing heat action is great news for me. I'll be happy to grab those as fast as possible. gary -san. Oh, who's this little guy? His name's Pochitaro. Aruko looked after him for a little while last year. After he saved him, we saved him from some punks. He really did that. How kind of her. Will you be able to accommodate him at Sunflower? Having a dog there would lift everyone's spirits, including Hayato-kun's. Of course I would. Are you sure it's alright, though? Absolutely. Your orphanage is the best place for him. Oh, thank you so much, Kiryu-san. This is going to make the kids so happy. You be good over there, Pochitaro. They skimped on the animation there for the dog. Uh, dogs are really, really big into eye contact. That's the, uh, it's one of the things that separates domesticated dogs from wolves and stuff like that, is they're really big on eye contact and reading the emotions on people's faces. So him solacely looking forward is weird, but they just didn't animate him to look around. Is that- Ah! Hi, Uncle Cass. Thanks for finding Pochi for me. Hayato-kun loves dogs. He already took Pochi for a walk. 
That was a fast fucking walk. That dog is dead. He's on fire from how fast that walk went. Oh my god. Like, I just... I took one step. That's distressing. Photo of Pochitaro. I can't... Oh, yeah, that's on the right there. That looks like the same thing I just saw. In the same location, even. Uh, where's the stoic photo? How to win at Mahjong. Where's the photo? I was given like a weird photo by that one guy, wasn't I? Am I do I equip photos? No. <clears throat> That'd be weird. No, you do equip photos. What the fuck? Somehow makes enemies more likely to confront you. Gets you every time. Increases probability of getting into a fight. Uh, oh, that's also an item. I guess they're charms. Plus five defense slow, slowly reduces heat. I don't want that. Heat good. Like, like heat. Ojitaro's really brought some life back to Sunflower. More importantly, he's helped Hayato-kun start getting to know the other children. Sounds like Pochitaro's living the high life over there. This really is the best case scenario. Thank you so much, Kiryu-san. Don't thank me. Thank Pochitaro. But also the hundred grand I gave you. Hi. <laughs> of course. And if you're ever feeling generous, we're still accepting donations, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, why did it fade to black? Yeah, they're good now. Cool. I probably can keep giving them donations, but, uh, let's not throw all the money at them right off the bat. I just gave them a hundred grand. We'll space it out a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the the, the neighborhood we were starting in, because there's still plenty over there to check out. Without me wandering off. That, that, would, that quickly went on a number of tangents, didn't it? The porn alley has somebody in it. Well, now I've got to know. You think you can go muscling in on our turf, chubs? I told you once already, we don't want your pervy shit around here. Yeah. No, everything I got is clean, I swear. Bullshit. In this town, everything's a, go uh, everything's a goddamn fetish. Why don't you show us the goods? Or are you scared you'll get turned, uh, turned on by your own stash? It w wow. My memory was correct. It, it's still... At the very least, this the beginning of this dialogue is already immediately about how this, like, someone's apparent porn stash in this particular alley again. But it's probably a misunderstanding, like that one mushroom salesman before. Th that's not it at all, though. I guess my wares are a little eccentric. Yeah, I called it. Come on, dump your bag. Please, no. D is he gonna be like a... Like a... Like a card collector or something, and that's gonna be it. Like he plays, he has a trading card game. <laughs> Somebody help me! Why is he called a shady man? A pervy peddler. Okay, that the sub story's name is not agreeing with you so far. Guess I should lend a hand. The peddler of perv. Maybe it's those beetle girl cards from last time. And who the hell are you? You really gonna butt into this? Boy. Leave him alone. He's not gonna hurt anyone selling his stuff in this back alley. Huh? You're one of Fats- You're one of Fatso's friends, guy? Sorry. He's not getting off the hook that easy. Neither are you. You'll- He's the eloquent Yakuza, I just read that. You have to excuse my companion here, his methods are rather uncouth. That said, we cannot permit this man to sell his illicit wares in our territory. Perhaps you'd like to cover this vendor's fee, and instead? It's 300,000 yen, sir. Why would I pay 300,000 yen? No, I'm gonna punch you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have that kind of money. Huh? The hell? No money, no selling. Indeed, those are the rules. Right. Teach these do a lesson, will you? Say your prayers, pervs. Yeah, I can just beat them up instead of paying 300,000. That's way easier. I like how the guy, the, the guy that was seemingly delegating the the uh, work, also attacked me. I thought he was going to be the one that just like tells everyone else to do this shit. Woohoo! Hey, 
Hey there. I feel like walls. No. It's a really underwhelming final punch. All right. Y you're a little more than a rank and file guy, aren't you? I'm not Yakuza anymore. Ah, but you were then. There's some comfort in knowing we didn't just get defeated by a civilian. So, are you done messing with this guy? Indeed. Make might makes right, and you have proven yours. Let us go. Thank you. Thank you so much. You need to be more careful, okay? If you don't go through the proper channels, this will happen every time. I'm really sorry. I never had to pay any vendor fees when Majima-san controlled the area. But before I knew it, turf changed hands and this new family started squeezing every last yen out of me. Hey, we had a reference to Majima. Really, Majima-san might be unconventional, but even he would charge vendor's fees on his territory. Oh, he did charge me, in a way. He'd maybe hunt down rare videos for him. Freaky martial arts type stuff. Do I want to know? I don't know, I mean... There is sort of a gleam in your eye. Oh. An action movie? Super Kung Fu Man. Legend of Drunken Karate. Well, I have money, so let's just go and go 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 go. There we go. Purchase. You know what that is? A lot less than 300,000. Anyway, I'm Kamiyama. Looking forward to doing business with you. From the newest releases to the deepest cuts, I've got anything you could ever need. <laughs> Just stop by if you're ever in the mood. I'll be waiting. So nothing pervy? He just... Uh, or does he sell does he sell porny stuff to everyone else, but sells martial arts stuff to me? Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Why don't... That's weird italics you had there. Oh, he's... Okay, he repairs weapons. And I can sell stuff to him. But it's the same stuff as before. See you around. Well then. Now I've got a new vendor. Die divider. <laughs> run it at, just run it right over. Uh, inventory of the discs. Here they are. An action movie. I wonder, if I go to the pervy video watching stores, can I watch these and then maybe get, like, skill ups on my character or something? That'd be interesting. Anyway, we're right down the street from... Oh, the DVD place, actually. Hey, what do you guys sell? What is this? What is this? Oh. Never mind. That's the equipment box. Oh, these are just buns. And... Salt shaker? Oh, it blinds enemies. You can use it as a weapon. <laughs> bean paste. I've stocked up on that stuff. The bean paste buns. I thought this was a video store. Did I misread that? Paw Paw? That's the video store. Oh, uh, no, it's not. The, oh, the video store must be upstairs. You have to find the stairs somewhere. Okay. I gotcha. Hey, don't beat on homeless people. Cut it out. Watch where you're watching. Walking, bitch. You got your homeless all over me. <laughs> what the fuck? You got the cash to make this right? Of course he doesn't. He's homeless. I I I'm sorry. If you're sorry, then you'll cough up the cash and get out of my face. You smell like shit, man. Well, your hair look your haircut looks like shit. Seriously, how, how do people keep having that? We're like, it's like, whoops, the barber slipped. But, I don't have that kind of money. Guess you'll have to pay the hard way then. You really want to get your ass beat? We'll teach you to watch where you're walking, old guy. Please, no. Those punks have no dignity. To the Dragon Palace? That's enough. If anyone needs to be taught a lesson, it's you two. What, you want a piece of this, Gramps? Knocking out one of you, one or two old fucks doesn't make much difference. But you get to go first. Let's fuck him up. Yeah? Yeah? Is that what's happening? 
Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Is that what's Oh boy. <laughs> what is the physics in this game? <laughs> Let's just walk you over here. There we go. Ow. That's a new one. Kind of. Shit. This guy's tough. Uh, let's go. I just beat you up in front of the Jungle Boy Cafe. You feel tough? <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Thank you for saving a low life like me. Come on. That's no way to talk. What's your name? I'm Kame, sir. And you are? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san? I have to repay you somehow. Would you mind if I took you somewhere I think you'd like? You're not gonna tell me up front? Hi. Hey, just trust me and hop on. I call this baby the turtle. It may not be the fastest ride on the streets, but sometimes slow and steady wins the race. Am I right? I'm supposed to sit in this? Yes, so come on. 